Hey, 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 everybody. How you guys doing? We're actually going to spend our first night in the cozy camper here. The bad boy. I have set up. I'm going to show you guys what I got going on here right now. My propane. The propane tank is hooked up, and you can see beside that, I cut a hole in here. That's for my diesel heater, which is hiding under the side here. I'll show you a quick before it's dark here. If you guys ever seen one of these diesel heaters, behind the diesel heater, I'm running it with, guess what, my all-power power box. Check this thing out, my power station. Sorry about the lighting, it's almost dark. And I'm going to show you guys. Oh, look at that. There's my all-powers. Power station sitting down here. I had the heat on, I had to turn it off because it's got so warm in here so quick. So anyway, what we're going to do is, Cindy and I are going to actually spend the night in this thing. We're going to kick back, we're going to watch some YouTube videos and all that stuff. And we're going to bake some cookies in the oven, so hang out there and this should be kind of a neat evening. What to do now is, I'm going to turn this, I'm going to open this stove up. And we're going to watch this pilot light light. If the pilot's on, we're going to see if the stove comes on here. There it is. Look at that. She's going. How nice is that? The oven's heating up. I'm not sure how long that's going to take, but she is underway. Well, the oven's up to temp here, guys, so it's time to throw our cookies actually in the oven here. Time to start baking. It's off. It is off. It just went off. Let's see what these guys look like. Yeah, I don't know they're quite done. No, no, they're not quite done. We're going to give them a couple more minutes. They, they're still kind of puffy looking. They get a little settle down, I think, a little bit. So stay tuned. We'll show you them here in a minute. All right, well, bacon with Sparky is over. Time to take these things out of here. These look pretty good. Look at this. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that. Why would you ever want an oven in a camper? I don't know. Works for me. <laughs> we think Cindy works for her too. Me too. Appreciate all the comments, so guys, we're gonna kick back now. Oh yeah, they're soft. Take some. You gotta let them cool for a few minutes, right? Okay, we're gonna let these things cool down for a bit. You know, time to kick back and try these cookies out, guys, because they just come out of the oven. They just cooled off, and <laughs> oh man. Why would you ever want a four burner oven in a camper? Why would you ever want something as stupid as that? That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Way do we bake a loaf of bread? You guys want to see something crazy? Let's see how tight this little friggin' building is here. Check this out. This the temperature inside now. This was his inside, so it is outside. Just baking those cookies brought her from 18 to 25. Not sure what it's going to be like in June baking bread, but it could be kind of warm in here. So anyways, cookies are awesome. They actually come out pretty good. I wanted to talk to you guys, yeah, a few minutes about my All Powers power station that I got. That thing is unbelievable. Um... We went over to the cabin last weekend, and I made a short video with it. I don't even know if I'm going to show the footage, because I didn't run it long enough to really do anything. What I did, I got an electric chainsaw, a fairly big one I've got over there. It's a three horsepower equivalent, they say. That's like a 12 or 15 amp saw. And I cut up a few things out back, but it only took a couple minutes. But anyways, we did that. All done doing that. Check the battery power. Percentage is 100%. I thought, well, that's pretty cool. Because it was, it was using 12 or 1400 watts when I did it a couple times. And again, I only cut a few things. I only put the thing to use. Wouldn't be 10 minutes. So put it away. Brought it here yesterday. Hooked it to the diesel heater. We ran the diesel heater seven hours yesterday. Basically all night. It ran from right till three in the morning. Or one in the morning. Sorry, it ran from supper time to one in the morning, seven hours. And looked at it first thing this morning and thought, well, it's got to be down, you know, a few percent on it. It still shows 100%. I ran, come out here and had my nap this afternoon. Told you guys get comfortable. I, three hours disappeared, gone. 
checked again after that. You're not going to believe it, but it still shows 100% power in that power station. Don't even have the heater on yet because it's still 22 degrees in here. And that oven's already been off for probably 45 minutes and it's already still 22. Um, even though I only put an inch of insulation in this, this thing is pretty tight because it's only one degree outside. It's not like it's real warm outside or anything. So this little building's holding the heat very well right now. Um, but anyway, the all powers power station, that thing is absolutely remarkable what that will do. And we're going to run it the diesel heater probably before we go to bed we're going to fire it up we're going to let it go all night and i'm going to leave the windows open a little bit to keep some cross ventilation so it doesn't get too cold because it's going to go down to freezing or just below tonight i mean we wouldn't freeze in here it'll probably stay reasonably warm anyway but if we got it let's run it right so we're going to show you guys in the morning what the percentage on that ridiculous friggin all powers power station is and i have a feeling it's still going to be 97 98 99 percent so um, it's not a lot of power to run that heater, uh, but the startup takes quite a bit because they run like a diesel engine almost, and there's a glow plug, and they have to heat the glow plug for about three minutes to start to get the combustion going in the combustion chamber, and then the wind blows on it, and they work almost like they're a miniature furnace is what they are that run in diesel fuel. So, and that thing is five to 8,000 kilowatts. They say, which is 17 to 27,000 BTUs, I believe, which is almost too much for in here. Like even on low, the thing just rocks and keeps this place quite warm. You have to keep a window open. Uh, can't get it down low enough, so even on the lowest setting on it. So, Anyways, I'm going to uh, show you guys in the morning how good that actually worked and held its battery for the night. And um, that's about it for that for now. But the uh, the All Powers Power Station for the win, they're quite a unit. You guys might want to check them out. And there's even a 10% discount code, too, that's going to be, I'll show in the description of the video and all that, that uh, you can get a 10% off, which is a pretty good discount. And uh, I've looked at a lot of other units on the market, because once you check out anything like this, all the advertising comes up in different venues, Facebook and stuff. And compared to some of their competitors for a 2000 watt these are considerably cheaper from some of the known name brand ones that are out there so they're worth checking out for sure all powers Wow, you know what guys, that's pretty cool because that's a brand new coffee maker we just bought. Just an El Cheapo $16 coffee maker to keep in the uh, mini cabin. So I am going to sit here and enjoy my first cup of coffee made out of our El Cheapo coffee maker. And it actually came out pretty freaking good. When I'm done my coffee, what I'm going to do is take you guys outside. And we're going to see how charged up this uh, All Powers power station still is because I get a feeling it must have kicked it down a little bit last night um, already got like over 20 hours running a diesel heater on that thing now it's got to be down a little bit there's no possible way that can still be at 100% so I am going to finish my coffee here we're going to go out and we're going to check out the uh, all power power station we're going to see where the power level is sitting at well coffee time's over let's go outside and let's see what this diesel heater how much it killed my uh, power station overnight let's check this out beautiful crisp morning too you guys can hear this thing running under here that's the diesel heater it's on temperature one right now let's see let's see how good the uh, battery did let's check this out you guys see that or not this is unbelievable this is unbelievable what I gotta do now I gotta turn it off there's a shutdown cycle on that sorry about the bad lighting there's a shutdown cycle on that diesel heater and it takes three minutes for it to turn off I got a remote control even here for it this is kind of nice came with the unit and I just hit off 
kind of give it a minute. You already hear the fan going down lower, lower, lower. And then what it has to do with the combustion chamber, I guess they call it, and nothing is hot, it has to go through a cool down cycle. So the fan will run for three minutes. But do you guys see that? 98% that power box, my, my all powers, portable power station, my S2000, which is a 2000 watt unit, 4000 surge, and it has a 1500 watt hour battery is what's inside that thing. I've run a diesel heater over 20 hours off of it. Yeah, it'd be up to 20 hours now, 19, 20 hours. Electric chainsaw for a couple minutes. And it's at 98%. Like, what's that tell you? You guys might want to check these things out. And uh, I'm going to go grab that thing and bring her inside here as soon as it's uh, done cooling down. It'll be a couple more minutes. Wow. Well, there, we had an awesome night. It was so nice to actually, you know, lay back and actually get to relax and sleep a bit. The, when we come out here the night before and we tried to sleep and we had to bail and go in the house at 1 a.m., I'm not going to lie to you. You don't know how disappointed I felt. Just totally beaten. I thought I spent all this time and money in that to build this thing, and I'm not even going to be able to sleep in it. But last night proved it that we just slept in a different position. I stretched straight out. She stretched straight out. We both slept like babies. I had a really good sleep. I really did. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's pretty cool this morning. Before the sun come up, you could hear cardinals. Just crazy sound they make. We get a lot of cardinals around here. We feed a lot of birds, right? And uh, they whip, whip, whip. And there's like a crazy sound. Almost sounds like a car alarm. And uh, we always get cardinals. They sit over here at the neighbor's place quite a bit. Big cedar tree. They park their butts in when they, uh, when they in the morning before they come over here to eat. Can't lie to you. Absolutely impressed with my all powers. This thing is the bomb. Um, it dropped to 97%. So isn't that crazy? It down, went down one more percent. That was on the cool down phase, I think, of shutting down the, uh, the diesel heater. So the diesel heater used maybe a liter of fuel running all night. I topped it up. So seven or eight hours. It used about a liter. So it cost you about $2 to heat this place for the night and again had to keep this window wide open because even on level one it got too hot so it again just shows the versatility of a unit like this because again this thing isn't just a 110 volt power producer it's a 12 volt battery when you need it but i could have literally run the diesel heater off it and then i could have brought it in here and plugged it in and uh, made my coffee off it ran the coffee maker but luckily i've got my own electrical system that I built into this cabin when I designed it. So, But uh, all powers for the win. You guys should check these out. They definitely have their application. Again, a generator is good and all that. But, uh, you know, there's all these people. And here's one thing for you guys, too. I know a lot of my viewers are American. On the other side of the border, it's great to have you guys here. When I did the initial video on this and we did the air fried chicken over at the camp, I know a lot of guys said dual fuel, dual fuel, propane, propane, blah, blah, blah. The gas doesn't go bad. You know what? I've done small engine repair 35 years now in New Brunswick, Canada, here where I live, and I've never seen a unit that's dual fuel because we don't run stuff on propane around here. It's just something we don't do. Uh, you go buy a generator, it's a gas-only unit. Anything I ever work on is gas-only. I can see the advantage if you have a diesel dual fuel unit because you're not, you know, it can sit. Propane doesn't go bad. It can sit five years. Fire it up. It's going to run in propane, but we don't have that luxury here. So these things are even more attractive on this side of the border, I guess, because we don't have that many options around here. Anyway, again, um, hope to get the roof in this thing by the end of the week. Uh, the ridge cap will be in. If I know we got a couple good days of weather coming, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, it's, it's Sunday right now. It's Easter Sunday, actually. Happy Easter, everyone. And uh, hoping to get the ridge cap put on this thing, get the roof done. So I may start midweek getting the red metal on it's only going to take a day it's only 10 pieces you know four by you know four foot wide pieces they're all cut to length so all i got to do is put a, a guide board it'll be like a two by four to give you my overhang with a, a piece of strap and that'll just a temporary that holds your metal in place while you put her on and uh, it shouldn't take me a couple hours to do each side of this roof so gonna be nice to see it finished and then comes the challenge of getting it on the trailer and again, we're thinking pretty hardcore. It's probably going to stay on that trailer. Once I get it on the trailer, I don't know that I want this pulling it on and off thing all the time. It's going to damage this. Could be a fiasco. So I'm going to get a snatch block for my winch, a pulley that you add to it. So it doubles your force and all that. So it'll be my, my winch is going to pull it on. I know it will. And I'll use a couple rollers. I'll jack the front of it up. I'll get a couple logs from the cabin 
uh, the big cabin, the camp, and uh, I'll bring a couple, you know, four, five, six inch diameter. We'll get one under the front of it, get it rolling under that one. I have to put her on the trailer that day and I'll get another log under it. And we'll just walk it on, roll it on with logs. I know it won't be an issue. Wet down the deck of the trailer or whatever, it'll, it'll slide on. Great to have you guys along for the content. Uh, got to try out the stove too. It was kind of nice, the propane stove this weekend. And um, nice to see it actually work. Bake some cookies and you know what? Kind of ironic, got one left. I'm gonna have that for my breakfast out here. So Cindy's already bailed. She's in the house playing with the cats. So, but yeah, it was nice to see that propane oven work phenomenal. Uh, get up to 25 degrees in here after we baked the cookies and had to open the windows and let the heat out. So we didn't even turn the diesel heater on to almost till bedtime. It was about 11.30, quarter to 12. We went to sleep. So again, if you guys like this content, like and subscribe, share the videos and appreciate it. Trying to build the numbers up and we hopefully going to get this thing mobile real soon and show you guys some beautiful places. And, uh, you know, great to have you guys along. And if nothing else, words to live by. Live simply, remain grateful. We'll talk to you guys soon.